That's right, your eyes do not deceive you. I'm in fact making another video, and you have indeed read the title of this video. I was the last person to know that I was in the hood. Now you might say to yourself, how did you not know you was in the hood, Zero? And I says to you, your boy's a little slow. If you know me at all on a personal level, you know that I'm a little slow. And it takes me a while to understand things. So what tipped me off to knowing that I was in the hood? Someone had to tell it to me to my face that I was in the hood. How that story went was I was at my Walmart, I know, and we was trying to find something, right? We were going up and down the aisle and we finally found it, but it didn't look like it was the right price. So we were trying to find those little beepers whatever those things are called, those beepers, scanners, whatever, at the end of those aisles. And so it wasn't there. We was like, we were just here last week. Where did the, where did the, the, the thing go? So we looked around and we couldn't find it. So we talked to the guy who was putting stuff on the shelves and he said, hey, yo, where's the beeper? He was like, huh? The beeper, scanner, thing, it goes on the end of the aisle. Where is that? He's like, oh yeah, that thing, it's stolen. I'm sorry, what? like, oh, it got stolen. It's gone. It got stolen. I'm like, yeah, it got stolen. It's gone. Ha, ha, what? How did this thing get stolen? The thing is made out of plastic and, like, screws, right? I, there's nothing valuable in that, I don't think. Like, uh, how, how, why? How? And he was like, he just kind of looked at us, like, kind of like this look on his face, like, I don't know, man, it's the hood. It's the hood. It happens. And I'm like, we're in the hood? <laughs> it's like, that's when I finally realized that we were in the hood, when someone actually told it to my face. Because then I had to remember just last week when I remember seeing that little whatever it is, leave in the comments if you know what that thing's actually called, and I saw this woman, this white lady, uh, she didn't look too good, admittedly, and I saw her shoving a whole pizza, big old pizza box, right down her drawers. Right down her drawers. I saw it. I was like, I was just moving by, you know, my mom did, and I saw it, and out of the corner of my eye, I see her doing this. Like that. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And then I saw her shoving the pizza down her pants, and she was, she was getting in. She was... <laughs> She was going in. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I was just seeing it like, what am I looking at? And then I, I just, she was just shoving the entire pizza down her pants. I, I couldn't believe it. And I have no idea if she got away with it or not. Maybe she didn't, maybe she didn't. Considering how someone can steal an entire thing off the end of an aisle and no one notices, maybe she got away with the pizza. I don't know. And so that was an incident that happened before. What should have tipped me off years ago, and I'm talking years ago, what should have tipped me off was the fact that my grocery store had anti-theft locks on their uh, shopping carts. I didn't, I didn't really understand why someone would put that on. Like, they used to have like those little small, like little, little carts that you only have like the few items you put in there. Totally gone. Those just straight up gone. And I was like, what happened to those? And then, just a few days later, the anti-theft devices were put on all of those shopping carts. And I'm like, okay. And it just, it, it, no, no, there's no there there. No there there. And maybe it was the fact that there was, like, packs of wild dogs were in my neighborhood. Like, like, and I'm, I'm not, I mean, it was all kinds. It was, like, those little, little yapper dogs, like, you know, big, like, Siberian huskies. Just up and down my street, up and down, patrolling the neighborhood, keeping the peace, as it were. Maybe that should have tipped me off. You know, it's like, you know how, like, there was, like, this swoozy video where it's, like, the dog who's by himself, who's not on a leash, and he just, he just knows what's going on? I had that, too! Now, maybe, maybe it was all the uh, mailboxes that got lit on fire. Maybe that should have tipped me off. Maybe it was the fact that my next-door neighbor was constantly getting, uh... Uh, attempted break-ins. Maybe that should have tipped me off. Maybe it was the fact that my neighborhood had a rash of uh, car radio thefts. Maybe that should have tipped me off. Maybe it was the fact that my other neighbor just across the street from me, whose nephew was growing weed in the backyard. Maybe that should have tipped me off. Uh, 
What definitely should have tipped me off was uh, when my dad had a bit of a health had a bit of a health thing. I went to the hospital, you know, as a good son that I am. And this guy, I felt so bad for him. He he wanted to get home. He was just kind of like there. I, I don't know how he got there. Maybe he got dropped off. I don't know. Uh, but he wanted to get home. He was in this you no know, walker. I was like, oh, my heart went out to him. So I was like, oh well, I'll I'll try to help him go home. And he, I could barely hear this guy. I think he was like a smoker. And we was outside, pitch black. There there was no light at all except for the hospital lights. And we was trying to I was trying to find out where this guy lived. And I forgot if I called my mom or she called me. And I was just talking to him like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I'm outside. And there was like this pause on the other end of the line. She was like, what? It's like, oh, I'm outside. Zero, get back inside. I'm like, and I was so shocked. I'm like, I'm trying to help this guy get home. And she's telling me to go back inside. I'm like, no, I'm going to help him get to where he's going. He's like, zero, get back inside right now. I am not playing with you. Get back inside right now. And I was just, after a back and forth, I got frustrated. And I said, I had to say, I'm sorry, I got to go back inside. I hope he got where he was going. That was a long time ago. I hope he was fine. But then I eventually realized that when I got home, that right across from the hospital, just separated by this little, like, those little bushes, was the projects. I was like 11, 12 o'clock at night, and I was literally within shooting distance of the projects. Maybe that should have tipped me off. Maybe all of this should have tipped me off. Oh, maybe it was, a. Uh... Uh, this 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 just flashed back to me. Maybe it was the fact that uh like uh uh people were coming up to me in the discount grocery store, discount grocery store that he was asking me for money. And he was like, "Hey man, you got some money?" I'm like, "Listen, listen, my brother, listen, listen. I know it's hot out here, but I'm sitting here in this discount grocery store, same as you. Do you think I honestly have any more money than you do?" And maybe that should have tipped me off. There's a lot of things that should have tipped me off. None of them ever did. And then just literally just yesterday, I was just taking a walk, you know, like I do. And this guy said, he, he said he said it to me to my face again. He said, yeah, it is the hood. He just said it to my face. Why am I the last person to know that I was in the hood? How did this happen? I, I'm just slow. I am just slow. But before you feel too bad for me, like, I'd say a good 25% of the houses in my area got solar panels on them. It's the hood with solar panels in it. That's how it works.